Good to see you today. Hope everybody's okay. <coughs> Let's come before the Lord and pray. It's good to see you. And we're just having a little Bible reading today. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for your wonderful love and your wonderful grace and care. And thank you for all your goodness and all your blessings. And we give you the praise and the glory and the honour. And we thank you for all your kindness and all your goodness in your name and for your glory. Praise you. And Lord, we pray that you would be with us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's good to see you today. I want to read a, a scripture uh, for you. And it's in Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. It says, The Lord, Lord, how often... Shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him up to seven times? Matthew 18, 21. The writer in the Daily Bread says, Life is a lot like bumper cars at amusement park. You get in your car knowing that you will get hit. You just don't know how hard, and when you get hit, you step on the accelerator to, to chase the one who has hit you, and hope to bump that person harder than they have bumped you. That may be a fun strategy for bumper cars, but it's a terrible strategy for life. When you get bumped in life, bumping back only escalate matters, and in the end, everyone suffers damage. Jesus had a better strategy. Forgive those who have bumped us. Like Peter, we may wonder how many times we have to forgive. When Peter asked Jesus up to seven times, Jesus answered up to seventy times seven. In other words, there are no limits to grace. We should always extend the spirit of forgiveness. Why? In the story of the forgiving master, Jesus explained that we forgive not because of our offenders deserve it, but because we've been forgiven. He says, I forgive you because you begged me. You should not also have had... Com Sorry. I forgave you because you begged me. Should you not also have compassion on your fellow servant just as I have had pity on you? Since you... Since we are among those who have been forgiven much, let's stop the damage and share the blessing with others. Joe Stowell Lord, remind us how deeply we have offended you and how often you have extended the grace of forgiveness to us. Teach us to forgive others and to trust you to deal with those who sin against us. Forgiveness is God's grace in action through us. I just was really struck by that reading today because... It shows the power of the need, of the power of grace and the power of forgiveness. That if we forgive other people, then it sets us free. And if we don't forgive people, we become imprisoned. So today, if we're bitter for any reason against anybody, let's come under the blood of Christ, ask for forgiveness, and forgive those who have trespassed against us. Let's come before the Lord. Lord. If we are bitter in any way towards anybody, we ask that you will forgive us. We pray for your forgiveness and mercy, and we, Lord, forgive them. And treat them as if they've never sinned. Because, Lord, every day we make mistakes, and you treat us as if we've never sinned. So, Lord, we thank you for that grace and mercy. And, Father, we praise and thank you for this day and your love. We pray that we will walk in your way, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope that was a blessing to you and we'll just close with this music again.
Só blush. 